Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to disable this metro screen also known as the modern UI in Windows 8. If you have been using Windows 8 and you are a little bit annoyed because of this uh, new modern UI, it's great if you are using a tablet or a touch screen but if you're using a traditional desktop Windows 8 does still have this full desktop experience, but if you notice, uh, Microsoft has removed the start menu from this Windows 8, which we are used to. But now I'll show you how to get back to this. If you traditionally click it, you'll go back to the modern UI interface. And if you even hit the Windows key, you'll toggle between the desktop and the modern UI. But I'll show you a small free utility using which you can get back the Windows start menu. This is a free utility and it's known as the Windows Classic Shell. To get the same, just uh, Google this uh, Classic Shell. It's soundforge.net slash project slash classic shell. And you can download it here. It's just 8.5 meg. And this is the website for the same that's known as classicshell.net i'll uh, list all the links of these in the sh uh, youtube show notes so you can uh, download them easily i have already downloaded the same so let me show you the same and it goes and sits in the download also the classic shell can modify this uh, windows layout if you notice windows 8 has this new ribbon type interface for the explorer and it can modify that also now we have downloaded this classic shell and as you can see it's around 8.5 meg in size pretty small utility and we're going to install it now and as you can see it gives us this wizard we're going to hit next accept terms of conditions and as you can see we're going to uh, install the classic explorer the start menu and the classic shell update you can uh, disable the classic explorer if you want but for this demo i'm going to enable everything we hit the next and accept and now it's going to install this and we are almost done now and it gives you a readme let, let me close this now and if you just notice here we are getting back the windows start menu and if i click on the same for the first time this gives us some of the settings so let's look at the same by default we have the classic windows uh, one that we saw in windows 95 and windows 98 we have the windows xp style and also the windows 7 style i'm going to select the windows 7 style and as you can see it uh, gives us a prompt that will reset it it's okay we press yes and now we should have this classic style uh, start menu as you can see again now windows 8 is a lot familiar and it's similar to windows 7 now so i feel this is a great utility again and from here directly you can get access to your computers control panel etc and this makes windows a lot more easier to use for example like windows 7 and as you can also see as we did allow for this classic shell to modify windows explorer the menus are also modified but you can disable that if you would like again still this uh, classic shell has all the options for example if you go back to the programs and go to the classic shell and hit this classic start menu settings from here you can select the type as i had mentioned before and you can also go to the basic settings as of now if you hit the windows key uh, it will default uh, open up the classic shell but if you want to open the windows start screen you can select that and i'm going to do that and now if you hit back the home uh, windows uh, key you get back to this modern ui interface so again it's totally customizable as you can see uh, this is a great utility i would say if uh, you're going to use the windows uh, 8 a lot in the desktop mode it gives you a lot of options and it's completely free i have been using this classic shell for a couple of days and i'm pretty happy with this application because it gives us the familiar interface that we are used to with windows uh, what do you say xp or windows 7 and it just makes the transition from windows 7 to windows 8 a lot more easier if you're not using it like a tablet i hope you found this video helpful that's it for now this is ranjit from tech2bus.com and i hope to see you in my next video